An interpreter is a person who conveys orally the meaning of the spoken word from one language to another. You can use interpreters more effectively and achieve better communication with a non-English speaking client by ensuring both you and your client understand the role of an interpreter. Dạ thưa chị, em muốn hẹn gặp bác sĩ. I like to make a doctor's appointment please. Okay, when would you like your appointment to be? Em muốn gặp bác sĩ ngày nào em? Dạ thưa chị, um, em muốn gặp bác sĩ ngày thứ ba. I like to see the doctor on Tuesday please. Yes, we can book you in for Tuesday. Would Tuesday morning be okay? Thứ ba được em. Thứ ba buổi sáng có được không em? Dạ thưa chị, um, thứ ba buổi sáng dạ được. Yes, that's fine. Tuesday morning is okay. The interpreter's role is to accurately and appropriately convey the whole message from one language to another. To allow the interpreter to do this, you need to pause often to allow time for the interpreter to interpret and for your client to respond. You should also speak directly to your client. For example, in this scenario, the receptionist asks the client, when would you like the appointment to be? Always make your client the center of your attention, regardless of whether the interpreter is in the room with you. In an on-site interpreting situation, speak directly to your client and maintain eye contact with your client, not the interpreter. You can arrange seating to facilitate communication between you and your client. If you are using an on-site interpreter, a triangular seating arrangement is ideal. When using an interpreter, your role is to conduct and manage the interview. It is your responsibility to ensure a free flow of communication. The first step in any interpreting situation is to introduce yourself to the interpreter and to brief the interpreter on the situation. As part of the briefing, you can describe the type of telephone you are using. You should also allow the interpreter to introduce themselves to the client. Hello, interpreter. Hello. Hi, my name is Mrs. Edwards. I'm a high school maths teacher. I'm currently here with Mrs. Aiden. Mrs. Aiden's son, Dennis, is in one of my maths classes. And Mrs. Aiden is here today for a parent teacher interview. Right, could, okay. Yep, could you please introduce yourself? Merhaba, uh, Bayan Aydın. Ben Türkçe tercümanıyım. Uh, yanınızda uh, Bayan Edwards bulunuyor. Oğlunuzun matematik öğretmeni. Merhaba. Okay, we're ready to go. Go ahead, please. Wonderful, great. Thank you um, for coming, Mrs. Aydın. How are you? You can assist the interpreter to accurately recount what you say by using some simple strategies. Keep sentences short, limited to one or two ideas per sentence. Use simple language and avoid jargon and pause often to allow time for interpreting. Be patient with the interpreting process. Sometimes one short sentence in English may require several sentences in the other language. Um, evet, um, Deniz uh, üniversiteye girip muhasebe okumak istiyor. Sizce daha fazla uh, ev ödevi yapması gerekiyor mu? Notları nasıl? Mm -hmm. uh, Deniz wants to go to university and study accounting. Um, are his grades good enough or for that? Or should uh, Deniz be doing more homework, you think? Okay, well I'll have to answer that in, in two parts. Uh, firstly, Dennis is receiving excellent results in all tests and assignments. He's actually one of the uh, best students in his class. Uh, ona iki şekilde cevap uh, vermeliyim. Uh, i̇lk ki Dennis sınavlarında ve projelerinde çok iyi notlar elde ediyor. Mm -hmm. uh, sınıfın en iyi öğrencilerden biri. And as he is uh, receiving such good results, I, I don't think it's necessary for him to do more homework. Um, and if he continues to work hard in class, I think he won't have a problem um, getting into an accounting course. Deniz'in durumu çok iyi olduğundan onun daha fazla ödev yapmasına gerek görmüyorum. Eğer sınıfta çalışkanlığını devam ederse muhasebeci bölümünü kazanmakta hiçbir sorun olmayacağını sanıyorum. Harika, çok güzel bir haber. Very good news, thank you, fantastic. Wonderful. You should maintain eye contact with your client to show that they are the center of your attention. However, eye contact is a great example of how cultural differences in body language can affect communication. In some cultures, looking someone in the eye indicates honesty and straightforwardness, while in others, it can be seen as challenging and rude. It helps to be aware of these differences when engaging an interpreter. In any interpreting situation, your role is to conduct and manage the interview. Make your client the center of your attention by maintaining eye contact and speaking to them directly. To assist the interpreter, keep sentences short and simple and pause often. By utilizing the tips presented, you can help bridge the communication gap between you and your client.